All right, we're getting started. The very first thing I'm gonna help us with is sitting cross-legged. We see that a lot in flexibility and in stretches. So I have this pillow here. I invite you, if you like, to grab a pillow, a blanket. You can even double up your mat. You might find if you struggle with sitting cross-legged, that sitting up on something is going to help you, especially when we get into establishing strong posture, which if we are brand new to this type of movement, that can be really challenging, and especially if our hips are tight. So you'll see me a lot in class, uh, in our videos, in our movement practice, where I will grab a pillow and I will start out our stretches with a pillow. It's totally optional, but try that. If you do struggle sitting cross-legged, and if you struggle with feeling like your hips are a little tight, elevating them can kind of give us a little bit of an advantage. So that's one tip with cross-legged. You can also, my hips just cracked, I don't know if you heard that, but I need these moves. I'm so glad we're doing this together today. You can also uncross your legs and you can sit uncross-legged as we like to call it. You might find that that helps, especially if you um, are struggling maybe through the calf muscles or with your ankles when you come to cross-legged, if maybe your feet go numb and it's just not a comfortable move for you, a comfortable seat for you, you can uncross your legs. It is gonna give you more of a stretch in the hips, so if your hips are feeling tight, you might be feeling that there, but that's also always an option. And always, 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 you don't have to sit cross-legged. So feel free to move around in these stretches. If you are like really struggling with cross leg and it's just not comfortable, you can kick one leg out, you can extend your legs, you can kind of come to the side, you can come to a shin box or a 90-90, you can tuck your feet underneath you. I want you to feel comfortable. So as long as you're not feeling any pain, go ahead and take a seat that's comfortable for you. But if you do wanna work on establishing cross-legged, just try sitting in it for a little little bits of time. So maybe if it's a real struggle, we're gonna try 30 seconds. And then maybe next time we'll see if we can do a minute. Try sitting up on something and then you can try on crossing your ankles and, and just go for those variations. And remember, we're gonna breathe deeply through this. So that takes me into our next little bit. And we have videos specifically on all of these little fundamental pieces. So you can find a video on deepening our breath, which is very helpful. Um, that video is to come, so we're gonna dive into that a little more because that's another aspect that can be really tricky with flexibility. But why do we breathe deeply when we're stretching? Why is that so important? That is so important because our muscles need the oxygen. And that's why we're here, right, is to help our muscles. We're here to lengthen them, we're here to stretch them out, we're here to help uh, improve our range of motion. So we need that oxygen. And it also helps us in this moment to enjoy these stretches a little more. As side benefit, it's gonna help our nervous system. It's gonna kinda help us to calm down a little bit if we've had maybe a really stressful week or day or moment. It's gonna help us to just kind of let go a little bit, let go of a little bit of tension and just kind of be here in this moment. So deep breath is super, super important. A lot of times when we're in an uncomfortable unfamiliar move, movement, we hold our breath. Maybe we don't even realize that we're doing it. I catch myself doing that all of the time. So I'll just cue us to breathe. <laughs> and that's why I do that. It's sometimes it's a reminder for myself and it's just gonna help us to check in and just take a breath and just take a moment. Even right now, right? We're, maybe you're sitting in cross-legged with me and you're not used to sitting in cross-legged this long and maybe you're starting to get a little uncomfortable let's just take a deep breath. Now, we're just gonna to touch on this quickly because like I said, we're gonna have a more in-depth video on breathing when it comes to our stretching. But if you take a nice big breath in and out, do you find that your shoulders go up with your breath? What we're gonna to try to do is breathe into our belly. So place your hands on your belly for a second. Big breath in, let's see if we can inflate our belly. And then when you exhale, it deflates. So we're gonna try to keep our shoulders down. 
Roll your shoulders back and down. Bring your hands to your belly. Big breath in. Can we keep our shoulders down? Big breath out. Good. And this is tricky at first. Another big breath in. And big breath out. Sometimes when we inhale, especially if our shoulders are going up, we think of breathe up, breathe down, right? Something that helps me tremendously when I am stretching and trying to do these belly breaths because I have two things you're gonna learn about me real quick. I have really tight hamstrings <laughs> and I have really terrible lungs. I have asthma and it's, it's hard for me to get a really good deep breath. It's very ironic that I am here teaching you this. So I hope that makes you feel better. If you feel like you're not flexible, if you feel like breathing deep is difficult, you are so not alone here. Something that helps me, instead of inhale up, exhale down, that's when my shoulders are moving, right? And that's when it's all up here. Something that helps me is to imagine breathing, the inhale goes down into my belly. So, and then exhale up. All right, so let's try to imagine that inhale down. Kind of helps me keep my shoulders down a little bit. One more really big breath in on your own time. And then exhale it out. Good. Don't you already feel a little bit calmer? <laughs> a little bit? We're going to keep that deep breath going. I'll keep cueing us as we go throughout our stretches. It's going to help us. And if you struggle in this first video, with keeping your deep breath going. If you find that you're holding your breath, don't worry. It, with time, with consistent practice, all of this is gonna become a little more natural and even just a little bit of progress, you're, you're gonna see and you're gonna feel the difference too. So don't, don't stress about it at all. We're gonna talk about posture really quickly here. So again, we have more in-depth videos if you struggle with any of these pieces or you wanna linger in them a little bit. We're going to have videos for that. Um, but posture, strong posture is something that we also set up with our stretches. And sometimes our stretches are very, very chill and very relaxed. And I'll let us know when we're in one of those. But for the most part, we want to have really good alignment because it's not just our muscles that we're working with. It's also our joints. And so we, we use the language a lot that we're going to stack our joints. What we're talking about is just that we're gonna have really nice integrity in our posture so we can get the most out of this movement together. And of course, so that we don't injure ourselves, we wanna be careful with our movement. We wanna set up movement that's gonna support our bodies and not do any, any damage, right? The whole reason we're here is, is to maybe reverse damage and, and help us to improve. So it all starts from the base of our spine, we're gonna always really be focused on the back and the neck. I have a very special appreciation for the neck. I have a neck injury, so you're gonna hear me talk about that a lot too. That's why I got started in flexibility, and so I am very precious with how we move our neck. I always say be considerate when moving your neck. Your neck and your spine they're working together. Your neck is a continuation of your spine. So we want to be really careful with how we move those. So go ahead and if you're still with me in cross-legged, we're gonna bring our hands to our knees and we're actually gonna let our shoulders round forward here. We're gonna kind of just like hang out. I'm gonna come to the side so you can really see that too. I'm still up on my pillow, so I'm giving my hips a little bit of elevation here. Oh, on an exhale, you're gonna let everything round forward. So we're really chill. We're just gonna breathe deeply. We're slumping the shoulders forward. Now this is something we usually try to avoid, but sometimes we do it intentionally. Really feel what that feels like for your shoulders to round forward. And a lot of times we're here in our life, right? If you are like me and you work a lot on your phone or on your laptop or maybe you work at a desk, you drive a lot, whatever it is, you are probably feeling this, this 
crunchiness all the time, right? We hold so much of our stress in our neck and shoulders and back. So what we're gonna do is starting from the base of our spine, starting from our tailbone. Right now we're rounded forward. I want you to imagine, try to visualize as we sit up, your vertebrae stacking one at a time. And so we're gonna do this slow roll up. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, we're gonna nice and slow start that roll up through the spine. And it's gonna travel through the shoulders. You can lift them up by your ears. You can roll them back. And then we're gonna look forward. And here we are. Grown up like a little plant. Something that is helpful for me, maybe it'll be helpful for you, is to tuck your chin slightly. So we're not kind of jutting our chin forward, putting a, a little crunchy pressure on the neck. We're not dropping our chin to our chest unless, unless we're cued that way, right? Sometimes we intentionally do that. But when we're just kind of in this neutral spine, maybe tuck your chin slightly to keep that beautiful straight line from neck to back. And again, maybe we roll our shoulders back and down one more time. Maybe our shoulders aren't used to being back. Maybe they're used to kind of crunching forward. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on opening up in the chest. We're gonna work on the scapula, don't worry. But this is our neutral spine. You can kind of pull your elbows back a little bit. That might be helpful. Take a big breath in. Big breath out here. This might be feeling like a lot of work. You are doing amazing. This is gonna kind of be our home base in flexibility, especially when we're seated. This is our home base. Cross-legged, beautiful, tall posture. Shoulders are back and down. Chest is open, neutral spine, neutral neck. Home base. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. If this is a struggle, you're not alone. We're gonna see this all the time and we're gonna keep working on it. You're doing amazing. We're gonna do two really simple moves. They're simple, but don't be deceived. They are very effective. We're gonna go ahead and do a side body stretch. So we're gonna bring our left fingertips down to the floor beside us. We're gonna maintain this beautiful, strong posture that you've worked so hard to set up. Big inhale, we're gonna sweep right arm up. We're gonna reach it up towards the sky. So you're gonna really grow a little bit of length through that side body, through your obliques. Big inhale there and then exhale. We're gonna bring that arm over towards the left. So, Explore here, start small, especially if we're feeling like, ooh, we're a little tight up in the shoulder and through the obliques. You have the option to kick your left hand out if you wanna grow into this a little bit, or you can stay, stay right here. Do what feels good for your body today. Listen to your body. We're gonna look up slightly here. Just breathe deeply. On your exhale, maybe wherever we are, even if we're up here, maybe we can relax a little bit into the stretch. We're letting our head, our neck is kind of following the curve of our spine here. So that's what I mean when our neck and our spine are gonna move together. Reach that right hand away from you. One more big breath in. Exhale, bring it down. And do the same thing on the other side. Right fingertips come down. Big breath in, that left arm reaches straight up. We get a little bit of length out of the left side body. And then when you're ready, bring that over towards the right. Let your knees kind of go heavy. They might want to come up, especially if we're not used to sitting in cross-legged, and that's okay. With time, they can get a little heavier. But you might feel this stretch all the way down into that hip. Wherever you are, take a couple of cycles of breath, nice and slow. Try to relax into this on your exhale. And 
and then go ahead and bring it down. Amazing job. We're gonna move into a little spinal twist now. So again, we're still in this beautiful posture that we set up. Right hand is gonna to come to left knee. So right away, we might be like, ooh, hello shoulder. Left fingertips are down beside us, just like in our side body. Big breath in, we're just gonna check in with that posture. We're sitting up nice and tall. On your exhale, you're gonna to turn to look towards left shoulder. Now don't force this. If we're really tight through the back and even in our neck, if we're tight anywhere here, we're just gonna come slightly to look towards the left. You don't have to come into this gigantic twist. A little bit is gonna go a long way here. Try to pull your shoulders down if you feel like they're crawling up by your ears. Take a couple of cycles of breath, nice and slow. Feeling that amazing twist through the spine. On an exhale, we're gonna unwind. We're gonna take it right to the other side. So left hand to right knee. Right hand, right fingertips are down beside us. Inhale, we'll grow nice and tall in that posture. And then exhale, turn to look towards right shoulder. Take a couple cycles of breath here, nice and slow. Back, shake it out a little bit and just if you need to you can wiggle around hopefully you're starting to feel the benefits of these stretches already amazing amazing job we're gonna go ahead and come into a little hip opener so you're gonna bring the soles of your feet together which is going to encourage our knees to go wide here now, uh, depending on how your hips are feeling, we have options here. We always, always, always have options. You can kick your feet out and we're gonna come to kind of more of like froggy legs, make kind of a diamond shape with your legs. If your hips are like, ooh, I can't, I can't come to that little butterfly position. No worries, kick your legs out, we'll work from here. The closer you bring your feet in towards you, the more of an opening that you're gonna Feel in your hips and try to think we're gonna bring our hands to our ankles here try to think rather than forcing your knees down towards the floor that's that's a little harsh we don't want to hurt ourselves think of your inner thighs like you're trying to get them to rotate up towards the sky if you're like what that doesn't make any sense no worries <laughs> but when we try to rotate inner thighs up that's going to give us that opening in the hips and encourage our knees to go down rather than just forcing our knees. In. We don't want to use force. But if your knees are coming up and you're a little crunchy like this, kick your feet out and don't stress. We're in time. This will get easier. We'll be able to grow with a little bit of consistency. So no worries at all. Hands are on our ankles and we're going to roll those shoulders back and down, sitting up nice and tall. So not only is this a hip opener but this is the fantastic strengthener for the back and it really helps us to work on that strong posture that we're establishing opening up in the shoulders and chest we're just going to take a couple of deep breaths in and out here we'll see this one a lot and then other videos we can grow upon this little butterfly stretch we have a whole butterfly series you can check out but for now, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. If you feel like it, you can incorporate a little movement for the neck, maybe tucking, dropping chin to chest, stretching out the back of the neck. Maybe you look up gently, or maybe we kind of tick tock our head left to right. One more big breath in. And then exhale to release that. You can kick your legs out, amazing job. We're gonna stretch our legs out in front of us so we can stay seated on our pillow 
it if you like. I'm gonna put mine to the side for now. All right, so we're gonna do our seated fold. Now this is one that if you are like me and you have tight hamstrings, this may be a frustrating move. So we are gonna start this really, really gentle. And we have the opportunity to grow from there. So if it feels good and you're like, I'm gonna go into a bigger stretch, you absolutely can do that. But we can stay here and with time and consistency, we can grow this a little bit. So we're gonna bring our legs together. We're gonna bring our heels down on the floor here and we're gonna keep our knees nice and bent. You can even, you could even start by bringing your feet down and really bend your knees if you're feeling super, super tight. We're gonna establish that nice, strong posture. Big breath in, we're gonna lift both arms up, look up, exhale, we're gonna fold forward. So we're gonna reach forward. You can bring your belly to rest on the top of your thighs, holding onto your feet or your ankles wherever your hands fall. And we're gonna bring those towards knees. Now, depending on our anatomy, depending on our flexibility, we might come to this little ball be like this is nothing so option to straighten the legs the full stretch will be that we'll have our legs not locked out a, a gentle bend in the knees but then we'll go ahead and reach forward and that's going to be the big hamstring stretch but I want you to start nice and gentle and then you have the opportunity to extend your legs out and to go from there this is another one, so this is amazing for the back. For the hamstrings, obviously, but this is also just a great stretch for us to kind of chill out a little bit, relax through the nervous system. Especially if you make this really cozy, you rest your belly on the tops of your thighs, maybe you sway a little bit left to right. Big breath in, and as you exhale, see if you can do that rolling up through the spine again, where we try to stack our vertebrae, coming into that nice, strong posture. Amazing job. We have one more move. We are gonna return back to that cross-legged, so let's see how we feel now, returning back to this now that we've Kind of warmed everything up. We're gonna go ahead and bring right arm across. We're gonna catch it with our left hand. You've got options here. You can place your hand wherever that feels best, but I'm gonna guide us today to kind of place our hand outside of um, the meaty part of your arm, so kind of at your tricep. So we're gonna gently guide that arm across. We're not gonna pull, we're just gonna guide that arm across and this is going to be an amazing stretch for the shoulder we're establishing that nice strong posture and you see my my shoulder is kind of like up there by my ear i'm gonna plug that down so right away i'm making a little bit of space between ear and shoulder a little bit of space in the neck we're gonna hold this here strong posture shoulder pull down big breath in and out Now, if you like, you can twist a little bit towards the left. So that extended hand is just gonna kind of twist a little bit. Maybe you look towards left shoulder. A little variation on that spinal twist we did earlier. Big breath in, exhale, we'll bring that back. And now we'll tilt so that this extended hand maybe reaches down towards the floor. You might not come very far into this, that's okay. That right knee might want to kick up. We're just going to try to keep it in place. And our head is going to move with us so that we're keeping that straight line through the spine. Big breath in. Exhale to come up. And we're going to switch. You can kind of bring your arms out, get a little ooh, shoulder back stretch. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, catching your left arm with your right hand. By that meaty tricep part, we're gonna pull that left shoulder down. 
breathe deeply. And you'll hear a lot in flexibility in, in a lot of our videos that I cue us to kind of move with your inhale and move with your exhale. If you feel like you can't match that up, no worries, no stress. That's just kind of a guide for us to help us to lengthen that breathing. I know when I first started, it was frustrating to me because I couldn't, I couldn't really breathe quite as deeply as the instructor. And so if you can't, if you can't follow that with me, no worries. The important part is that you keep breathing. We're gonna move into that little twist. So maybe looking towards right shoulder. And it's kind of a nice, if we can eventually start to sync up inhales and exhales with our movement, that'll kind of really help us to make our movement nice and smooth. And especially those transitions, nice and smooth, a little more graceful. Go ahead and come back to center and we're gonna tilt over towards the right just a little bit here. Good. And then bring it back up. Amazing job. We're gonna stretch our arms up, look up, big inhale, reach up, exhale, float your arms down by your side and just see how you feel. How are you feeling in cross-legged if you're there with me? How are you feeling with your posture, with your breath? Does everything maybe feel a little tired? <laughs> maybe this feels a little easier to come back to this, maybe not quite as foreign. Wherever you're at, you did amazing. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see you in the next video. We're gonna explore some more basic flexibility moves. We're gonna learn a little bit more. We're gonna build upon what we did today in this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am so excited for you to continue in your flexibility and to see a little bit of progress, to get a little bit stronger each time. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.